As you know, ChatGPT is a powerful and popular AI chatbot or chat machine. But today, I will show you the negative side of the machine. It is not as powerful as you think in solving math problems. Let's look at our first problem. Let's consider the solutions of the equation 3.12x minus 54x plus 135 equals 0. We can verify x equals 3 is a solution. Actually, the, the left side equals 3 to the power 3 minus 54 times 3 minus uh, plus 135. So equals 27 minus 162 plus 135. That equals negative 135 plus 135 equals 0 equals the right side. Right? We can also verify x equals 4 is also a solution. Let's look at the left side. That equals 3 to the power 4 minus 54 times 4 plus 135. So we get 81 minus 216 plus 135. So we get again negative 135 plus 135 equals 0 equals the right side. So we have two real solutions, x equals 3 and x equals 4. Now let's see if chat GPT can give us these solutions. So solve 3 to the power x minus 54 times x plus 135 equals 0. You can look at this uh, solution process, right? We try to use a uh, Newton uh, Raphson method. And oh, okay, here is a Python uh, program. Oh, it says the approximate uh, solution of the equation is x equals y. Actually, that's a wrong answer, right? If we ask it to tell us the exact solution again, see, can you tell me the exact solution? Let's see what happens. Uh, so you see, chat GPT cannot solve this problem, right? So let's look at our next problem. That is a indefinite integral. You evaluate the definite indefinite integral. A naive way would be using partial fraction, but it turns out it doesn't work. Now let's notice the top and bottom. We can change the top as 3x squared plus 3 and then times 1 over 3 dx. And the bottom still x cubed plus 3x plus 8. Now you see we can take 1 over 3 out and this part is actually the derivative of the bottom. So I write as x cubed plus 3x plus a prime, the derivative and times the x, the bottom is x cubed plus 3x plus a. So you see, we get 1 over 3 integral. We can write as d x cubed plus 3x plus a over x cubed plus 3x plus a. So the antiderivative would be 1 over 3 ln absolute value x cubed plus 3x plus a plus a constant c. Let's see if ChatGPT can give us the solution. Integral of x squared plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times x plus 8. Oh, plus 8. So you try partial fraction, right? See? But you see, it cannot be factored. And 
but you still try to do to evaluate the uh, integral using partial fraction. Oh, no answer again. See, right? That means this uh, machine cannot solve the uh, integral, right? So now let's look at our last example. It is an algebra question. If a minus one over a equals one, then what is the value of a to the power eight plus seven over a to the power four? To solve this problem, let's square the given condition. So we get a minus one over a square equals one square. So using perfect square formula, we get a square minus two ab. So x to two plus one over a square and the right side one. So you see we get a square plus one over a square equals three. We denote that as first condition. Now square the first condition again. So we get a to the power of four plus two ab. So it will be again two plus the square. The second term would be one over a to the power of four, the right side equals nine, right? So we get a to the power of four plus one over a to the power of four equals seven. We denote that as condition two. Now square this condition two again. So we get a to the power of eight plus two ab again would be two plus one over a to the power of a, the right side, 49. So we get a to the power of a plus one over a to the power of a. Both sides subtract two, we get 47. We denote that as three. Using these three conditions, we can evaluate the target expression. So a to the power of a plus seven over a to the power of four. Now using two, we replace seven by the left side. So we get a to the power of a plus bottom a to the power of four, the top is eight power four plus one over eight power four. So you see, we get eight power four a plus eight power four over eight power four, which is one plus one over eight power four divided by eight power four, which is one over eight power a. So we can write as eight power a plus one over eight power a plus one. We know from condition three, right? So this part equals 47, then plus one. So the final answer would be 48. Again, let's see if ChatGPT can solve this problem. If a minus one over a equals one, uh, then what is the value? What is the value of a to the power of eight? plus seven over a to the power of four. Let's see. Oh, so start from the given condition, multiply both sides by a, I think, and then Solve a. Oh, we get a equals that, and then right. Therefore, it said the value of this one's approximately eighty point seven. Yeah, it is a decimal. For a equals that, and approximately for a. Oh, there's two solutions. No, that's only unique solution. So 